Hello, and thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Airbnb Real Estate Investing. So uh, in today's video, um, I am going to go over, you know, or answer the question, should you in the Airbnb space or short-term rental space um, place your business inside of an LLC? Should you create an LLC? Now, before I go any further, I'm not an attorney. Uh, this is not legal advice. I'm not a CPA. Okay, so please always do your due diligence. Reach out to an attorney if you have questions. There, there are real estate attorneys, and there are also you know um, CPAs that specialize in real estate, um, and and also even investing. Okay, so I'll tell you what I do. Okay, but um, first, let me just kind of go over what is a limited liability company. So now this is on the IRS's website. Where is it? Yep, there's a little insignia down there. And um, so a limited liability company, LLC, is a business structure allowed by a state statute. Each state may use different regulations, and you should check with your state if you're interested in starting a limited liability company. Owners of an LLC are called members. Most states do not restrict ownership, so members may include individuals, corporations, other LLCs, and foreign entities. There's no maximum mem number of members. Most states also permit single-member LLCs, those having you know only one member. A few types of businesses generally cannot be LLCs, such as banks and insurance companies. Check your state's regu requirements and federal tax regulations for further information. There are special rules for foreign LLCs. Okay, now um, classifications. Depending on elections made by the LLC and the number of members, the IRS will treat an LLC as either a corporation, partnership, or as part of the LLC's owner's tax return, a disregarded entity. Specifically, a domestic LLC with at least two members is classified as a partnership for federal income tax purposes unless it files Form 8832 and affirmatively elects to be treated as a corporation. For income tax purposes, an LLC with only one member is treated as an entity disregarded as separate from its owner unless it files Form 8832 and elects to be treated as a corporation. However, for purposes of employment tax and certain excise taxes, an LLC with only one member is still considered a separate entity. Effective date of election. An LLC that does not want to accept its default federal tax classification or that wishes to change its classification uses Form 8832 to elect how it will be classified for federal tax purposes. Generally, an election specifying LLC's classification cannot take effect more than 75 days prior to the date the election is filed, nor can it take effect later than 12 months after the date of the election is filed. An LLC may be eligible for late election relief in certain circumstances. So, you know, I really should have just stopped after reading this paragraph right here because I just wanted you to get a general idea of what an LLC is. Okay, and now one of the most important things you can take away from this uh, paragraph here is that you they are state specific. You've got to check into your state's um, guidelines. Okay, and so now along with that um, or after that, let me just follow that up with what I do. So I set up, and again, not a, 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 an attorney. This is not legal advice. Please do your own due diligence again. But um, I will set up an LLC for every single property that I own because if you actually have an issue where you get sued in an LLC and there's multiple properties, they can go after the equity or, or the, um, you know, the multiple properties in that LLC. So if you have an issue with one property that is in its own LLC and you have like 10 properties, they're each in their own LLC, they are going to be, um, you know, the other nine are not going to be affected by the lawsuit on the one property. Now, this is again, um, theoretical and, um, you know, it works. And uh, so, but Please, you know, don't just assume it's going to work for you in your state, the way you're setting up your business, so on and so forth. Do your due diligence and make sure that that's the case, okay? Because again, you know, it sounds like a broken record and sorry for saying this so often, but this is a litigious society that we live in. Um, 
I'm not a real estate attorney. It's not legal advice, okay? I'm not a CPA either, but I do appreciate you very much. And, you know, I want to, again, this is this whole station, this channel is uh, rolling out information very slowly. For starters, I'm, you know, very busy. But, you know, um, secondly, I am, this is, is going in from point zero or from point A to point Z is very best and detailed oriented as possible. I also am trying to split up every single video to have their own subject matter because there are a lot of quote unquote Airbnb 101 courses out there on YouTube. And the problem is with like, I mean, I don't mean to shoot anybody down because I haven't seen all of them. However, the ones that I have seen, um, you know, are very convoluted and very ADD and all over the place. And this, I want you to be able to take this course and go from point A to point B or, or point A to point Z and, um, you know, have all the information that you need, okay, without paying anything for that information. There are also a lot of courses you could pay for out there. I've seen them $2,000. I've seen you can get an hour with this guru or that guru for $1,000 or $400 and so on and so forth, which is, 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 can be very beneficial. I'm not knocking it. Okay, um, but if you, that's not the route you want to go, go and you just want to spend some time researching and, um, you know, learn as much as you can for free, maybe before pulling the trigger on a guru, well, that's, you know, this course will be uh, great for that. This course is also going to take a while to complete. So, you know, I don't recommend waiting for it to be done but before you actually get started. That would be um, a mistake. And so, you know... Um, that, but you know, once it is complete, you know, we're talking a year and a half probably to two years. Um, this is going to have everything that you need in it to become successful in this short term rental space, okay? But, um, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you uh, did like it and um, subscribe. Uh, I will continue to put out awesome content. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And, um, you know, um, awesome content and, and it'll continue to come. Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, please drop any questions in the comment section and I hope you have a wonderful day.